is up everyone lion roar here and i am back with another war this time it's united adventurers against empires peru so uh looks like we're about to flip the board here um so i'm gonna dive in in just a moment i'll help flip the board um if it's needed uh or we'll have a bunch of fresh targets too i wonder how many hits we have left at this point looks like we have 40 hits left so we got a good number of hits when the board flips it looks like i'm going to be taking on or at least try to take on some of the toughest opponents I have here. Um, looks like we got a bunch of people jumping in now. Day Walker, nice to see you. Laurent, thank you very much. Me, Jesus, LJ, thanks for joining me today. Just a couple of uh, quick announcements. So I'm going to do something new this week. Um, as you know, I try to bring new games to the channel. Um, I've been playing, well, Cyberpunk has been a big game this year that I've been playing. Uh, Gemstone Legends, of course. Um, in addition to Empires and Puzzles, uh, of course, but uh, also um, we have a, a few new games coming out in May. So a couple of live streams this week. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a live stream on the three games I'm most excited about coming out in May, and I want to get your thoughts on them. I'm going to tease one of them today, and then I'm going to do a demo of that game. It's Resident Evil Village going to demo that game on Friday. So when I get that live stream up, make sure to hit the notification on that so you know when that one goes live. But that means there's two live streams uh, coming later this week uh, regarding games in May. So tomorrow night, uh, which is uh, Monday, I'm going to do a live stream on the three games I'm most excited about. And then we're going to demo one of them, Resident Evil Village, on Friday uh, because there's a limited time demo that, that'll allow you to jump in and play that if you want to. So I'm really excited about that. Um, all right, before we get started, uh, if you enjoy content like this, please be sure to give the stream a like that will help people find it, it helps the channel out too. And if you want to see more live streams like this or videos that I do, especially as I bring new games into the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and we're going to dive right in here. All right. So uh, Ivy says, fingers crossed, Lion. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, Andy. Hey, Lion, Carmel Thunder here. Good luck on the hits. Thank you so much. Baxton says, may the boards be with you. Yes, I need it. And Malix, thank you. I appreciate that too. Malix says, good luck, dude. Okay. Well, we've got one team left on the board here. And uh, let's see here. I think if I'm going to hit this one, I need like a dispelling team. Um, so I think I'm going to jump in and take... I have a couple of dispellers on this particular team. So let's go with Sashat. Sertana. Whoops. Kingston. Arata Tusker. And we'll go with an Evelyn. So this has a couple ways to dispel. Hopefully this is good. What we've got going on in this war, by the way... Um, is like the cleansing of like buffs and ailments so uh it doesn't mean you can't take those heroes in fact most of the heroes i've leveled have <laughs> that going on it means you have to play around with it and i'll tell you what trying to remember to play around with that has been quite a challenge um this is kind of an underrated war style as far as challenge goes all right here we go let's do it yeah good job darling that was awesome all right. Okay, so we got some good greens on here. I could absolutely mess this up if I'm not careful, though. So um, let me see what the best thing to do is. I really, really would like 
a uh to get a diamond like a green diamond um if i make the green match on the left that'll make a blue match um if i make that green match that'll make a purple match so there's a green match in the middle too that'll make a purple match at the top that might be my best bet because if you see the green match in the middle it'll bring purple up from the top uh when it does that then it's going to bring some more greens up on the left hand side for another match and then the possibility of bringing more greens up at the bottom where there are some on the right so i think this is the best move i think it just sets up better potential for future greens just like that yep that's exactly exactly what i'm talking about there all right we might be able to kill heimdall with this oh close well i'll tell you what let's get ratatusker going because Just because. <laughs> he, the tiles are, are stronger now, so I can take the left side out. There we go. That makes this game a lot easier now. <laughs> All right. I'm going to wait on this diamond. Thing is, if I set off the... Like if I make a purple match and accidentally set off the red, well not accidentally, it will set off the red dragon bomb. It might just set off black knight anyway. So maybe it's worth it just to go blue now. Well, let's, let's just do this and get charged up first and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, good. That didn't, that didn't do anything. So that's good. Question is, do I try to go after, why don't we go after Drake with both of these? Oh, Drake like just barely survived. <laughs> it's all right. Because I'm going to be able to, to kill these guys anyway. Um, Yeah, let's just... uh. There we go. Should be it. All right. Flip that board. <laughs> oh, man. Rosalia says, hey, Lion, how's Basil? We always see him in your intro, but we can't hear him anymore in your streams. I know. I don't know. Uh, he doesn't join me for the streams anymore. Once in a while, he comes and pokes around, but this is like his nap time on Sunday afternoons. He likes to find a little sunny spot and, and nap. Um, yeah, uh, w when I make videos on my phone, like when I'm streaming like this, he doesn't tend to join, but when I make videos on my phone, sometimes he comes around and he likes to jump in my lap when I'm like holding my phone in. <laughs> so that's nice. All right. Let's, um, let's really find a team that I need cleansing for. This is a cleansing war. We, we have to remember that, uh, to play around with it. It's this, uh, war equalizer. But I do have a strong team that can cleanse. Here's a really good looking target for that. That one looks really good. I might take on that one. Um, anywhere else? Anywhere else? I think that's the one I'm going to take on. So here we go. Lots of things to cleanse here. This is going to be the Loki team. Lady Loki. Where's my tier? Tier. And Gravemaker. And Lord Loki. And Ariel. Andy Singh says, nice hit, Lion. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Next hit. Here we go. All right, that's some good red matching there. That'll cause a big cascade. I'm definitely doing that match.
<laughs> nice. All right. Uh, so one thing I like about Jean-Francois in this particular war is that's a lot of burn damage over two turns. And I believe this... Let's see, it's activated every three turns. Um, so one, so if I use it now, I think it wastes one of the burns. So... Let's see, I think red tiles might be able to kill Teleria. Let's just do fire over here, and we'll just let some tiles kill them. I'm actually going to use Lord Loki first, because let's go ahead and just slow their mana down, just for a little bit. And I'll use Gravemaker, and then we'll do this. And that just, that does a lot to take out the left-hand side. Uh, so you, you see we're going to get a cleanse here, so it doesn't matter. I could probably just kill White Rabbit. All right, and now I'm saving Ariel if I need her, but... Let's just go with tiles now. Craig Farrar says, am I the only one who thinks Equalizer is just the worst war format they have? Um, hey, Craig, tell me about that. Uh, what's your opinion on, on what makes it the worst war format? I'm curious. You know what I kind of want to do here is set off their Vela so I can just... I want to use my Lady Loki effectively, so there we go. I have nothing to cleanse, but I'll just go ahead and heal up there. And I think this is two for two so far. And that is two for two. You know what I just realized? Not that you all need to hear the sound effects, but I do like some level of sound effects. And I just didn't even have the sound effects on. There we go. I try not to keep the sound effects too loud. The sound isn't like the greatest thing I've I've heard in this game but <laughs> but it it just sounds like dry without it. <laughs> oh yeah, uh Martin Kristoff says first aid was the worst war format. Yeah, the the healing aid one was uh, yeah, that, that's an annoying one. <laughs> All right, let's uh go for hit number 3. This is where we're going to do boomer bust. I like to look for snipers when I take on this one. I also like to take on Frig with this because I have a couple of ways to get rid of the defense down. So I might want to actually do this. This looks like a good, potentially good target there. So with this, yeah, I'm going to take on Frig because I have a team here that not only can get rid of the defense down, but I can prevent the defense down as well. Uh, with Jean-Francois. It's easy to forget about this ability, but all allies get defense status ailment protection for four turns. New status ailments affecting defense will be replaced by plus 42% defense for four turns. So that way what I'm trying to do with this team with Wilbur uh, is more likely to work. All right, how's that look? Uh, 
All right. So uh, Craig says, I think it favors defense a lot more than offense. Maybe I'm just noticing the bad things. But for me anyway, uh, the attacking side always goes after the equalizer goes off no matter what I do. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's definitely stacked more towards the defense. And actually, you know, a lot of these war formats have have always been way more heavily weighted. I mean, think about arrows, way more heavily weighted to the defense. You you gain no benefit. Like, we don't get any arrows when we're attacking. Um so that's just kind of uh you know the way it's it's been but yeah I definitely hear you on that one. It's hard to time things that way. Oh Steve, you don't need to stop talking. Please talk. <laughs> um that's totally fine. That's what we're here to do. We're having a party. All right, looks like I can make a red diamond hopefully here if if uh cascade doesn't get set off. Um, tell me about the audio level. Is it is it okay or is it too loud? All right. Wow. Look at look at this. All right. So do I set the red diamond off right now, or do I make the blue? I don't have enough red to set off Wilbur, unfortunately. It might be in my best interest, I don't know, um, to just make the blue diamond. There's just too much blue and yellow on the board, so I need to get rid of it. Maybe it'll bring some more red along and then... is where it gets painful how did no more red tiles come on the board ay 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 let's go for yellow first are you kidding with the red tiles right now how did clearing the board bring no more red tiles I got one more oh my gosh and now this is too late <laughs> At least we killed the tank. Wah, wah. All right, so I had diamonds all day there, uh, but that didn't seem to help. <laughs> Unfortunately, against Frigg, yeah, if you if you don't have a good path in the first five turns, you don't have a path. Um, and so there it was like, you know, I had a red diamond, but only three tiles to follow it up, and that wasn't going to do it. So needed to clear the board. Unfortunately, clearing the board... <laughs> I got no more red tiles. Oh man, very rarely do you get like a yellow diamond, then a blue diamond, and and don't get your colors following up after that. That's that's rare. Um, but I can maybe save that one for a cleanup later. We'll just have to see. All right, next up, let's do. I have a yellow team. Do they have any uh purple? Nice job, darling. Yeah, here's a potential target. All right, I think because of how they have this, I'm going to do Delilah there. I'm going to put my weaker defense guys like in the middle. Um, Marge is pretty tough. I guess I'll put her on the edge. And then... This is all backwards. Let me let me put White Rabbit there, June there, and then we'll put Marge over on the other side. There we go. I think that's okay. All right. Here we go. 
<laughs> I know I got two very nice boards on the first two and then that that one, which I have to say that board felt fun. But it, again, a lot like this board was just loaded with like blues and yellows. Um, but this time I have some yellows to take advantage of this. So that is nice. Let's. Um. I guess we'll just start making matches near the top that will hopefully I'm like short one yellow match. Come on, yellows. Come on. They're not coming. All right. Uh, if I make this red match, it kind of depletes the board a little bit. Um, I kind of want to go for... Yeah, let's go for this one and make a little bit of a cascade. Well, Heimdall's going to go off, but... Oh, did it freeze? Okay, then. There we go. All right, back to normal. Back to normal. All right. Um... Yeah, let's just go for, for yellow now, because we can set them off. And that is nice. I think I'm going to go try to take out Jabberwock. Ooh, that was not good enough. Don't kill me, bro. Okay. No, I was not able to kill Jabberwock in time. But, uh, yeah. How long do they have this left? One turn. Marjana's fire doesn't really matter all that much. But it's still a benefit. Do I risk waiting for it? Or is he going to blind her? You know what? Let's... They have increased defense over there. He does not. Let's just work on June and try to make a bigger space over here on the left. I was just afraid June... Because it seems like in this game that... When you have a special like June's charged, they go after the hero whose mana is full or almost full. So that's why I did that. Mm. I'm just trying to ghost a little bit here, but man, that June's gonna go off like multiple times. I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Depends on who June and Magni are going to kill. See, watch. I'm going to charge. Actually, probably my best thing I can do is... Uh... All right. If I charge Guardian Kong, I'm sure that June is going to kill him. If I make this yellow match over here, that messes up the red match. But the yellow match should give me options at least to be able to kill. I can follow the yellow match up that messes up the red match with a green match that will allow me to make a red match, so let's do that. Ooh. 
See, I, I just knew he was going to go after her. I'm still going to just keep working on June because I would like a more safe area to ghost over here. There we go. All right, I feel a little better now. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and mm, I'm not going to use White Rabbit yet because it'll just go away. So the defense down will go away. And I've got three minutes left, so I've got to hurry up. Now we just got one more. I should be able to do this in three minutes, right? <laughs> one thing that's nice about War Equalizer is minions sometimes act like ailments, but, but they're not ailments, of course, so... <laughs> Uh, they keep doing damage over time, um, even if it's just a little bit. Goodness, this is taking forever. Come on. <laughs> Two minutes. There we go. <laughs> All right, uh, so that did that. So what am I now? I'm uh, three and one. I've used my top four teams. Okay, so I have another dispel one. So I probably want to go after like a, I don't know, Black Knight or something like that. This one would be go okay to go after. There's a couple things to dispel there. Uh, increased attack and increased defense um, from a few heroes, actually. There's a Black Knight up here. Here's some stuff to dispel. How good is this team, though? The team I'm taking isn't one of my best teams, so I probably need to be a little cautious. I think I probably need to go after this one. Green. It's heavy green though. Um it makes sense. It makes sense that I should probably go after this one. All right. I love the costumes. Some of my favorite heroes I've ever summoned are actually these hero costumes. I'm gonna use a couple of them here. Um, cause costume Caitlyn is amazing, amazing, amazing. And, uh, Liana is a lot of fun too. I wish I had extra ranger emblems because I'd load her up. Uh, but I have too many rangers, so I don't really get to load her up. And then we'll do costume regard. I should have another big costume regard. Here we go. Yeah. Emblems there. All right. How does that look? How's that look? Um, we could put the level 23 troop over here. Caitlyn doesn't need to do that much damage, so there we go. Dante says, best of luck, Lion. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We got two more hits left here. I'm on to my uh, lower end of the bench. We'll see how this goes.
All right, yeah. All day long, I will take that. I don't need to see anything else. It's amazing I didn't mess up that red diamond either. Um, let's just try and take out the middle. It's a ghost. I'm not even that afraid of Santa because of the cleansing, although it looks like I'm going to get the worst of it because he's going to go off and then it'll be a couple turns before the cleanse again, but that's okay. Um, so if I set the red off, it messes up a purple match. Do I want to set up? Do I want to mess up a purple match? Is there any benefit to setting off the red right now? Or do I just ghost? I think I'm just going to ghost once and see what happens. All right. Is the screen freezing a little bit for you guys every once in a while? I don't know why it's doing that. If it's doing that for you. I've noticed sometimes the screen freezes a little bit for me. And sometimes for you guys, it's like fine. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, do I even set off the shot yet? I think I want to cleanse first because she's got the attack down. Um, and I do need to heal up a little bit. You know, let's just try to kill Santa. Oh, wasn't quite good enough. This will set the purple off too. Nice. Oh, it just nearly killed, but didn't kill Magni. Oh, come on. Don't pick on my Eve. Don't pick on my Eve, yo. All right, let's go after her and get rid of the defense boost. Then we'll use costume Catelyn, and then we'll use Liana, and that should be it. That is it. Well, that's all, folks. All right. So, <laughs> question. Do I clean up or do I go for a one-shot? I have one hit left. Usually, this is a cleanup team for me. Uh, and how many hits do we have left? We have 20 hits left. We have 26 left. We are going to win this war. <laughs> it almost doesn't matter what I do. What do you guys think? Should I go for a one shot or should I clean up and be a, a good team player? I know I have some uh, United Adventures on here. Um, what what do we think is best? While I let you answer, I'm going to go set up my tournament team. So this week in tournament, we have a four star buff booster. I feel like we just did this. This time we're missing blue, so red would be a good... Um, tank in this one all right i i struggle with wilbur though being the tank even though he's one of my few that has emblems and that is because he also gives the opponent a buff so so it doesn't really help <laughs> let's take these off and this is actually a the missing blue actually complicates things for me here because I don't have a lot of great, like, I guess I could do like a, let's do a costume bold tusk. That gives a nice boost. He's a little tougher. He doesn't have any emblems, but it is what it is. It's all that it is. Uh, What else be good here? Could do like, hmm. See, Mist is always like a kind of good one here too. So if they bring, I really don't want greens on the flanks. Oh, 
Huh. My roster's not really, like, set up real well to do this one. But Mist is always a good choice. Let's do Mist. Um, in fact, let's do Mist this way. And then we'll do, like, a costume to Birdus here. I know this isn't really great as far as taking advantage. So we could do a costume Melendor, or I could do like Cademan. So like, do I want the healing? Mm, average healers in the corner just don't do that well. So what I think I want to do is uh, Cademan. Because he's got the costume bonus, but he's going to dispel too. So this team, although I don't get a lot of buffs out of it, it's it's the um so Craig says that's that's uh not the costume version of Bull Tusk. Um he still gets the costume bonus even if it's not the costume. But I like the regular version better because of the plus 48% attack, but he still gets the costume bonus whether he's wearing the costume or not. So he's still going to get an attack bonus of 5%, defense bonus of 5%, health bonus of 10%, and mana bonus of 5%. But I really want that plus 48% attack for four turns because that's going to stack on top of the other buff. So uh, that's why I'm going to do that. For those who don't know, Mist is also an anti-buff. Um, the target nearby enemies are immune to new buffs for three turns. And they um, get negative 34% defense against special skills and negative 64% mana generation, which is twice as bad as Teleria, by the way. So if I've got two mists here, I'm going to slow them down from mana. I'm, I'm going to not let them get buffs. And then if any of their buffs do sneak through, Cademan's there to clean it up. So this isn't really a buff team on my part, although Bold Test will do that. This is more of an anti-buff team. I'm going to try and keep them off buffs and slowly kill them. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to go for. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, here's uh, once again, here's Bold Tusk. Um, he heals less than the costume version. Um, Twenty-seven percent health, but he does get bigger attack, plus forty-eight percent. I think that's what I want. the The costume version recovers thirty-seven percent health for all allies, which is a good amount. And then all allies get plus thirty percent attack for four turns. But I, I like. I'm gonna go with that version. All right, let's jump back into war. Everyone's saying go one shot. So I think we can probably do that. Um, let's take a look at what heroes I have left because the, the team I would usually take is specifically meant to be a cleanup team with heavy blues. And I may just have to do that, but I do have this costume June. Man, I've got such good blues. Um... We could go with like this uh, Vivica. And we could do the costume or the regular. We have a few options here. I kind of like Krampus as like, uh, since he's, we're not going to be doing a lot of blue tile damage anyway. That could be good. Yeah, so I think I like costume Vivica as the defense down. Quip. And we got Krampus there. Maybe we just go something like this. But let's put Poseidon on the end and we'll put costume June here. All right. Uh... So, Costume Vivica needs that level 30. Um, costume June can go with the level 11. We'll give Poseidon the 27. And then we just got to hope uh, that the blue specials will work out. So, how's that look? That looks good, right? Okay. Now, I got to find a team for it. Uh, I should probably pick a team where it's not going to wreck my... Let's see if I do the defense down. So this is actually going to depend on whether I need to dispel or I need to cleanse. Uh, so I can switch between costume Vivica and regular Vivica. 
It's heavy yellow. Do we have a purple? Yeah, here's a purple. Huh, okay. Um, maybe I go cleanse with Vivica here. That would be a tough team to take on. Uh, but I might I might do it because I think it lines up well with this team I'm taking. Yellow. Yeah, I don't want to take it against Ursina. Kokui is another option. And I'm really tempted to go against Kokui. And I probably would need to do the cleanse that way. Um, yeah, let's do this. And I'm going to need to take the regular Vivica, not the costume. Let's put costume June in and then Poseidon. And then we're going to go with Alice and Krampus. How's that look? We need to put the level 11 troop over here. There we go. Fight! All right, here we go. Let's try one more one shot. We have some blues. Not enough. We have some yellows. Not enough. I can cause a little cascade on the left. All right. Sets up a nice yellow dragon bomb there. Sure. We are heavy yellow, so let's see. If I set that, if I do the green match, the blue match goes, but that's going to mess up yellows. Problem is, if I set off. Teleria here. She's going to slow my heroes down too. So even if I get some yellow follow ups, it could be a while. If I do. Mm. Let's just go for yellow. Oh, good. <laughs> That's. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> good. And I can cleanse that too. The question is, do I wait to cleanse it until after Jean-Francois has gone off? Um, hmm. That is the question. Oh, come on. Teleria, just die. Hmm. All right, so cleanse and we get the defense increase. If I do that blue one, maybe it will. Yeah, I, I think I can wait. Let's try to get Jean-Francois to miss, though. I'm going to do this match because I don't want to hit Ariel and have, have her healing up. 
And yeah, let's do this. The nice thing about cleansing right after Jean-Francois is he does no damage. No damage done. <laughs> Andy says, I was trying to click on Solaria to see how much health she had after the Poseidon hit. I do that all the time when I'm watching other YouTubers. And I'm like, how much does that shot have? And I like try and like poke on it. And of course that doesn't work. <laughs> let's uh let's kill Jean Francois before Ariel goes off. Um, and then, you know, like Ariel's gonna do nothing here. I mean she'll speed up their mana a little bit, but I can I can wait. Should I, should I heal? Nah. All right, blind Sashat or blind Drake? What's blind Sashat? Because, I mean, the, the war uh, status here is just going to clear Drake anyway. So let's just try and blind Sashat. And I'm just going to go ahead and heal now because I know Sashat's going to get rid of it, but so will the war status thing. And I'd rather just have the healing and not put my heroes at risk. Oh, come on. Always living. Problem here is if I use Krampus, uh, it's just going to clear it immediately. So there's no point in doing that. I'm just trying to ghost a little bit over here. Gosh, this is going to set off the shot again. Hmm. Well, we can set up a yellow diamond now. Paul asks, um, do you use the Alchemy Lab? If so, what are the best ones to use? Yeah, I've used the Alchemy Lab, although I have to say I haven't used it in a long, long, long time because I pretty much have everything I need. I've actually run out of things to, like, level up. <laughs> um, but I use the top level. I use the highest level of the Alchemy Lab when I do it. And this is it. Five and one. And we have pulled way ahead. We are way ahead now. All right. A little bit to go left in the war. A minute 40. We have 16 hits left at 5,964. And they have 24 hits left at 5,074. Empires Peru, it has been good playing you. That was fun and awesome. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, talk about two more live streams I have coming up this week. Actually, there's three coming up. Right after this one, we're going to have a little break, and then I'm going to come back for Gemstone Legends if you want to join me for that one. Some of you may have downloaded the game recently and want to know how to play it, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to play the game, um, and we'll do some arena battles and raid boss hits and things like that. Then tomorrow night, I am going to take a look at the three games I'm most excited for coming up in May. Uh, they're right around the corner, and I'd like to play one of them or all of them, and you can help me decide that, so we're going to preview those. One of them is Resident Evil Village. So uh, I'm going to preview that for you right now, um, but we're going to take a look at those tomorrow so you can help me decide which game you want to watch. And then on Friday, I'm going to have a live stream where I demo that game. Um, they're going to give us a sneak peek for just one hour 
So I'm gonna play it so you have that sneak peek. Uh, let's jump over. All right. And take a look at this. This is Resident Evil Village. Coming out at the very beginning of May. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, we await the light at the end. In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. When you're whining, we're almost there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Has anyone played this game before? I mean, obviously this one's Rose, new, but Resident Evil. Where are you? Who's into Resident Evil? out there come to my to Ooh, look at these graphics near the fields oh i'm super excited for this oh no they're coming who is what the hell was that stop shouting you'll draw the monsters tell me what is going on around here it doesn't make any sense Mother Miranda has always protected us. You escaped Mother Miranda. my little brother's idiot games, did you? Oh, there she is. Let's see how special you are. <laughs> <laughs> that just made me so uncomfortable. Left? From your entire village? All that's left? There is no one left. No, no! We can bust out with this. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin. Oh, I there hope this lives no up to it. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. Tomorrow we're we'll all be dead. No, let me go! Chris, what the hell? Why? Ethan Winters. Ethan Winters, Mr. Winters. Ethan Winters. Ethan. Poor Ethan. Ethan Winters. Welcome. All right, main character, Ethan Winters. Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. Oh, chills. So May 7th, that's coming up. That is right around the corner. We're going to play a demo of this on Friday and see how good this game could be. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, join me in just a little bit at uh, 1245 my time basically it's in like 20 minutes from now we're going to do some gemstone legends then tomorrow we're going to take a look at three games coming out in may that are really exciting and then friday we're going to demo resident evil village um if you haven't already please consider hitting that like button that way people who miss the stream will be able to catch it later it'll pop up on their little thing that says you might want to watch this video um and if you're not already subscribed please do that as well so you know when i go live or drop new videos and i will catch you in the next one